All right, um, just really proud of uh, our guys today. A lot of a lot of uh, positives. Uh, 25 wins uh, for a sixth straight season, which is really cool. Uh, hold this team under 28 points and hold DJ Ballantyne to single digits is a great defensive effort because they can really score. And, and Marty does a wonderful job with his offense. One of the best scoring teams, if not the best, in our league. And um, finally, Fred Van Bleet. I mean, 20, uh, well, he sets a record with a handful or more games left in our season as a junior. Uh, he's going to put that number so high, it's going to be really difficult. Uh, I hope that I'm the beneficiary. I hope that I get a point guard that can one day break the number that he's going to put up because it's going to be incredible. It's going to be a really special number. Greg, can you be? more specific on the job that Takeo did on Valentine. Yeah, he, he just, he, he's like a shadow. He's right there every time he comes off those screens. Uh, he doesn't give him any free looks. He knows very well how to play him. Um, the problem is DJ Valentine is a junior and Takeo's a senior. So I'm going to have to find slash train someone that can guard this kid next year. Uh, Cotton is tremendous. and. You know, he, he's, he's made some shots over the years against Takeo like he did in the conference tournament last year and uh, even the first half last year here. But 2 for 10, 0 for 3, 8 points, uh, special, special defensive effort. You've got some guys like Takeo who now play that motion offense, you know, probably 6, 8, 9 times. How much does that experience help? Explain their, their play against Quite a bit. Uh, I think he and Ron and, and Fred and Evan, those guys do a really good job. and. Uh, McKevish just got loose tonight. He, he, he had a good, he probably outplayed our fives, but um, Valentine takes take such a, a high percentage of their shots. He's certainly a focus for any team when you're preparing for Evansville. And I mean, when you can hold a team 43 and they average 71, it gives you a great chance to win. Yeah, they're so different from other teams in the Valley because they don't use that ball screen as much. Do they have to be more locked into the scouting report for this game? Is it Big time, yeah. You've got it. They've got some really good sets to get to free him up. Um, if you help too much, they're going to throw it to those posts who set the screens and slip to the baskets. Um, they, they just do a good job. It's, it's hard to guard, and you know, I, I, Tekel struggled offensively. But I mean, when you when you spend so much energy on the defensive end, you take any offense that you can get from from a player like like Tekel as a bonus. I'm just glad, you know, we're not worried about Mariota and uh, Winston over there. I mean, I didn't know if you had a question today. We were waiting on you. Okay. Um, yeah, he's he's just he's just a dynamite competitor. Um, one of the most com competitive young people I've ever been around. He wants to win every drill, every day. He's a fine, fine young person. Um, he's a gentleman. He's a He's mature and, and beyond his years. He's precocious, and he, he he's just a, uh, a great leader. I mean, he's constantly talking to the guys, constantly putting them in the right positions, constantly getting their, you know, if they if they have a bad segment or a bad play or two, and he's getting their chins up and, and encouraging them. And I, I haven't coached anyone like him. Even though Miskevich just had a good game, it seemed like he made it pretty hard on their guards to get the ball into him. He ended up with the seven shots, I think. Was that a big emphasis in the week to keep pressure on the guards to make it tough? Yeah, we, the first line of defense against them, because they have a huge uh, percentage of um, assist to made baskets. It's one of the best in the country. But, so they're not beating you off the bounce. They're passing and scoring. So when you're t playing a team like that, your first line of defense has to be the guy guarding the ball. And he's got to be active hands, and he's got to be looking to get deflections and closing down passing lanes. So you're very astute with that comment. Probably the best basketball question I've had today. Uh, Rashard Kelly, did we see a little more offensive or no, aggressiveness or polish today? Uh, I, well, you make that call. I'm not sure. I would say polish. He was, he was aggressive. He, he made a couple. He made a couple of followed dunk. He made a followed dunk, and he had a drive, which I really liked. Uh, that's what he's going to have to do. And then he's got to knock down his mid-range jumper. Gregor, you guys at a level where you're 
balancing off, or are you guys still ascending from a standpoint of improving as a basketball team? I don't. I, I can't tell you. Uh, you guys have to talk about that and decide. I just know that we won our 25th game against three losses, and you know there's still people ready to jump off bridges because we're not as good as last year around here. But the bottom line is we've put ourselves in a pretty good spot. We play for a championship next week, and t Wednesday determines whether it's a co-championship or a regular season championship. Do you buy that that you're not as good as last year? Do you buy that? Our record's not as good. I don't, I, I, to me, it's irrelevant. I mean, because there's nothing we can do about last year. Last year was a wonderful, joyous ride. Uh, it was magical. But this year, it's pretty doggone good, too. I mean, there's probably about 337 Division One schools that would like to have it. You got Zach Brown back today. What would you like to get out of him the rest of the year? Um, just continue to evolve as a player, uh, learn. He gave up, a, he didn't listen to scouting report. He gave up a little layup, an and one. He didn't cut off a, a play that we had gone over probably half a dozen, 10 times. So, you know, he's still not quite uh, as, as mature as, as these other guys mentally out there, but um, he's, he's quite a specimen. He can, he can guard and he can knock down the open shot. It just is good to have him back. Hopefully we can uh, continue to, to get him better. One more. Anybody want to talk about the NBA trade deadline or? You know? about college game day coming next week. I know you not going over a little College today, game but. day. College game day. Yeah, it'll be awesome. It'll be a zoo, as we know. Uh, don't call me for tickets. I don't have any. They're done. I don't think there are any left anywhere. So go to StubHub. Get ready to come off the hip. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful atmosphere. It's senior day. It's championship day. It's Northern Iowa, uh, who's playing really, really well. I mean, it'll be the biggest game in Wichita since I've been the coach. So I can't predate that, but that'll be a pretty special afternoon.